So say I see a uh, a cool looking character like a guy with big hair uh, and I bring it in but oh no what on earth is going on? Where even is it? I don't know where it is so I stamp it down and then I have to look around to find it. Uh, so if you stamp something in and you can't see it in front of you it's probably because they've messed up the grab points which I have a tutorial for. But then if you look around, it is actually in the scene somewhere. Uh, you just have to hunt for it, which isn't ideal. Uh, but it also has all this gubbins in it. So, um, uh, But we don't know where what is doing that, what is causing that. Um, so uh, uh, an easy way of kind of narrowing down what might be causing a problem is by deleting it. So if I delete that, it's gone away. The problem's gone away, so we know it's within that object. So if we scope into that object and start deleting stuff, uh, then it might go away, it might not. So if I if I deleted this, oh, it didn't go away, so we know it, the problem isn't there. Uh, so then it's actually the gradient effects, obviously. And we have this uh, light as well, which we don't need. And that's fine, so let's scope out. Okay, so now let's uh, play time. Oh, we weren't expecting that either. Uh, there's some music and there's some text. Uh, but we don't know where that music is. Uh, we can't see it anywhere. So uh, let's go and turn off preview invisibility. Oh, there's a whole other thing going on. Um, so if we move that out of the way... You can scope in and grab that and put that over here. Uh, but we still don't know where that music's coming from. Uh, let's try X-ray mode. Uh, now some extra gadgets have appeared over there. Uh, there's this chip up there. Uh, let's let's let's. Look there. Oh, this has got music on it. So let's scope towards that. Aha! It's got some music in it. So. If we delete that microchip, does that work? Okay, so that's got rid of the music, but we still have um, we still have that bish bish bosh stuff going on. Um, luckily, it's kind of pointing us towards the right direction because it's a it's a uh, text box object, and it's hidden on the un underside of it. So I'll just delete that, play time, and that's fine. Um, so let's let's actually have a play now. Oh, oh. So it's got that effect, which is kind of neat. But it has that kind of car crash sound, which maybe I don't want for my my uh, non-car crash level. So let's uh, try and figure out where that's coming from. So if we delete the puppet, then there won't be any jumps at all. Um, so that won't help. Uh, but if we delete that, Oh, that's inside the group, so let's ungroup that, that like that, and then delete that, delete that, and see if see what happens then. So it doesn't emit the uh, emit the sparks, but it also doesn't um, make that sound. So we're making headway. So let's go over here and start looking in stuff. So inside here is a chip. Let's try just deleting that chip and see if it works. Okay, so now we get the effect, and we don't get the sound effect, so that's that sorted that problem. Um, but that that may have all sorts of other gadgets and stuff in there, so we don't actually know what's going on. So then we might want to delete one one more microchip at a time to kind of slowly zero in on it. So it's in that chip. Let's go in there. Let's try deleting those two and the cool thing is you can always um, undo those deletions you go back into edit mode let's just undo so it's in one of these two nothing's in there is in there we need to delete that specific thing and now we have all the things we want without the things we don't want um, so 
those are some uh, tips and ways of of figuring out any given problem. So if you have some sort of weird problem going on and you're not sure what is causing it, something is still causing it within the scene somewhere. So you can try these uh, methods of deleting stuff temporarily and testing to um, see where it is. Use the x-ray mode to see uh, gadgets inside of other objects and preview invisibility to be able to see objects that you normally can't see in the scene. I'd like to thank Colvitzer, Jack Power, Evil Key Mao, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Check out tapjars.com to find out how you can support me in helping Dreams creators. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.